The purpose of this presentation is to talk about your genes and your health. We will also discuss how advances in the science of genetics have improved cancer prevention and treatment. Let's talk about where it all begins, our cells. All living things, people, plants, and animals are made up of cells. There are different types of cells in our bodies. Each type has a different shape and function. This is a picture of one cell. In the center, it has a nucleus. The nucleus is the brain or control center of the cell. Almost every cell in our body has a nucleus. The nucleus contains chromosomes. The chromosomes are tightly wound strands of DNA. In the DNA, on our chromosomes, we will find genes, which determine our characteristics. The study of our genes is called genetics. Genetics tells us how different characteristics are passed down in families from grandparents to parents to children. Genes control what we look like and how our bodies grow and work. The genome is the name given to our entire set of genes. It's like having an instruction manual to the human body. Genes also determine how we react to things we come in contact with, like the foods we eat the germs we encounter, the pollutants to which we are exposed. Small differences in our genes are why people, animals, and plants look different. These differences are called genetic variation. There are genetic variations that we can see like hair color and texture, eye color and skin tone. Sometimes genes we inherit can make us susceptible to certain sicknesses. That means that the genes we inherited from our parents do not protect us from things in the environment. Allergies are a good example of being susceptible to a sickness because of a gene we inherited. Allergies to peanuts, medicines like penicillin and pollen, and also intolerance to lactose are examples of genetic variation between people. Now we're going to talk about genetic mutations and how changes to our genes may cause disease. When one or more genes in the cell's DNA becomes damaged, it is called a mutation. Genetic mutation is a type of harmful variation that can cause disease. To better understand how a gene mutates, let's first talk about how genes work. Genes have on and off switches that tell the cell to either reproduce or not reproduce. When the on and off switches in the genes become damaged, the cell does not work properly. Our body's immune system has ways to know when a cell is not working properly and can either fix the cell or destroy it so that it does not cause us any harm. This is a picture of two immune system cells destroying a damaged cell. Sometimes a cell with the mutated genes escapes the body's immune system and continues to mutate and multiply out of control. Mutated cells that grow out of control can become cancer. Our immune system is a complicated network of cells, tissues, and organs. Mutated cells are often, but not always, removed by our immune system. The immune system helps the body fight infections and other diseases. There are three types of genetic mutation, inherited, acquired, sporadic. This famous actress, Angelina Jolie, had genetic testing and was found to have an inherited mutation for breast and ovarian cancer. Not all inherited mutations are passed down from parents to child. And when passed down, not all children will develop the disease. Angelina's mutation was passed down from her mother, increasing her chances of developing cancer. Using information from Angelina's genetic tests, she had surgery to remove her breasts and ovaries in order to reduce her chances of developing these cancers. Angelina's treatment was an example of personalized medicine. Some things that we are exposed to in our environment can damage or mutate our genes. Some examples of these acquired mutations are sun exposure that can lead to skin cancer. Smoking tobacco can lead to lung cancer. Chewing tobacco can lead to oral cancer. Pipe and cigar smoking can lead to cancers of the mouth, lips, throat, and tongue. During a typical hookah smoking session, you'll inhale 100 to 200 times the volume of smoke that you'd get from a cigarette. Vaping contains similar toxins found in tobacco. 
Sporadic genetic disease is not inherited from parents or acquired, but comes from unidentifiable genetic mutations. Examples of sporadic mutation are shown in this series of photographs. The first two photos show different types of dwarfism. The third photo shows an example of giantism. When your doctor asks you about which diseases run in your family, they're asking you about your family history. When family history is linked to the information provided by your genes and lifestyle, it can be used to help doctors understand our risk for developing diseases. This begins to describe how our care becomes personalized. There is a way to determine genetic susceptibility to disease through genetic testing. Often, people with a family history of cancer may have a genetic mutation, making them more susceptible to cancer. For some cancers, there are genetic tests that determine these mutations. People with a family history of cancer may want to talk to their doctors about genetic testing. Genetic testing is part of a personalized approach to care. To learn about your genes, doctors need to collect some of the cells from your body. These samples are called biospecimens. Examples of biospecimens are blood, saliva, urine, and tissue taken during a biopsy. If you are diagnosed with cancer, testing your cancer tumor may help find the best way to treat your cancer. There are many different types of cancers. However, all cancers do not have fully developed genetic tests. This is another example of personalized medicine. Genetic testing of biospecimens can find gene mutations that cause disease before symptoms occur. By consulting with a genetic counselor and knowing the results of your genetic testing, you can make lifestyle changes and schedule screening tests to reduce your risk of cancer. Personalized medicine, also known as precision medicine, is not a medicine. It is a new way to prevent and treat disease in a way that is specific to you. Personalized medicine takes into account the genes that make each of us different, the things that we are exposed to, and the way that we live. Immunotherapy is an example of personalized medicine. Immunotherapy is a medical treatment that boosts our own immune system to help the body fight diseases such as cancer. We have discussed how genes influence our health. We have also discussed how tests and treatments can be personalized to fit our individual genetic makeup. This information was discovered because people are willing to participate in scientific research. Cancer research studies and cancer clinical trials are being done to develop more tests and treatments for cancer. Carefully conducted clinical trials are the fastest and safest way to find treatments that work. All studies that involve research with people have to be approved by an institutional review board to ensure that participation in the study is safe. Every study or clinical trial has a plan that describes what will be done during the trial and why each part of the trial is necessary. The plan also includes guidelines to determine who is eligible to participate. When considering participation, the study team will explain all parts of the study and answer all of your questions. You will be advised that your participation is voluntary and you can withdraw at any time. If you are interested in participation, you are given an informed consent form to read, which includes written details about the information that was discussed. If you agree to participate, you will be asked to sign the informed consent. For more information about personalized medicine, cancer genetics, or to learn about clinical trials, speak with your doctor. This project was made possible by a grant from the National Cancer Institute National Outreach Network Community Health Education Program.